Welcome to this Final Cut Pro 10 training. My name is Larry Jordan. This is Chapter 5, Keywords and Metadata, and this is the introduction. Most people equate metadata with <laughs> growing fungus. It's pretty boring stuff. However, as our projects become ever more large, complex, and stored solely on hard disks, the number of clips and projects that we need to track become almost unmanageable. Keywords and metadata, and they are not the same thing, provide a fast way to find exactly the media we need when we need it. Keywords and metadata are now a fully integrated part of Final Cut Pro 10. Ratings, by the way, are, are just a specialized form of a keyword. This chapter explains what keywords and metadata are and why they're important, shows you how to create and modify keywords and metadata, how to organize your media, and how to find the media you need. While all keywords are metadata, not all metadata is a keyword. Keywords generally are words or phrases that describe the contents of a media clip. For example, whether it's a favorite, what location it is, the people in the shot, close up versus wide shot, good take, bad take, you, know, you get the picture. Metadata, though, is any information at all that describes a media clip. For instance, the codec, the date shot, file size, file type, all the keywords. Metadata is a much bigger category of which keywords are but a part. There are two ways that metadata can be entered automatically and manually. Automatic metadata includes things like the technical specs of the camera or clip. Manual metadata includes things like ratings, keywords, names of actors, costumes, copyright date, or other material that can't be determined from a technical analysis of the clip. The movies in this chapter include an overview of ratings, keywords, and finding stuff, and explains why these are so important. You should always start here. Then learn how to use the keyword editor to add or remove keywords. Learn different ways to find media using filters, how to organize media into folders and customize lists, how to create, change, or delete smart collections, and how to manage or modify clip metadata and why you should. Apple has made major changes to how Final Cut Pro tracks, displays, and modifies metadata. As you'll discover in this chapter, the more you work with it, the easier it becomes to find exactly the media you need, when you need it. My name is Larry Jordan, and let's get started watching this Final Cut Pro 10 training.